हेलो गाइस सो नाउ वी शेल बी डिस्कसिंग ए टॉपिक ऑफ राइट वेंट्रिकल ओके सो वी शेल डिस्कस अबाउट राइट वेंट्रिकल नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक ऑफ राइट वेंट्रिकल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस लुक एट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द राइट वेंट्रिकल सो बिफोर आई ड्रॉ द राइट वेंट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर लेट मी ड्रॉ द राइट एट्रियम दिस इज योर राइट एट्रियम एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव गॉट दिस ओपनिंग कॉल्ड एज इन फंडिबुलम ओके and here starts your right ventricle this is your right ventricle over here now within this you have got some very important valves for example between the first of all let me write it down that this is your right atrium this is your right atrium and this part cavity over here is called as your right ventricle between the right atrium and the right ventricle you have got a valve like this you have got a valve right so this valve is having two cusps so there is one cusp over here right and there is another cusp over here there are two cusps over here one is called as a anterior cusp another one is called as a posterior cusp so this one over here is called as your anterior cusp and this one over here is called as your posterior cusp anterior as well as a posterior cusp and when you look down over here down here you have got these projections over here these are called as septal cusp what are these septal cusp so completely how many three that is the reason why on the right side you have got three cusp that is why you called as tricuspid cusp what are these tricuspid well that is it is having anterior cusp it is having posterior cusp at the same time it is also having this septal cusp and next inside here do you have muscles yes so here in the right ventricle you have got the muscles like this but the muscles if you look they are not that thick in comparison with the left ventricle so the muscles here are very very thick okay so the muscles which are located in the right ventricle are less thicker in comparison with the muscles that are located in the left ventricle clear yeah? right now these muscles over here are in the form of trabeculate right that is why you call the m as trabecular trabecular carne what do you call them as trabecular carne now if you look at this trabecular carne there are three different types of trabecular carne what are these three different types of trabecular carne which you have here so one you call it as a ridge shaped trabecular carne another one you call it as a bridge shaped trabecular carne another one you call it as a pillar shaped trabecular carne okay how does a ridge bridge as well as a pillar shape look this is how it looks for example a ridge shape looks in this way okay a bridge shape all of you know that this looks in the form of a bridge so third important muscle is pillar shape which looks like a pillar okay for example can you show me the example of this pillar shape muscles yes for example here we have got a pillar shape muscle and this pillar shape muscle is called as anterior papillary muscle and here also we have got another pillar shape muscle this is called as posterior papillary muscle okay so what are the two muscles over here this is called as your anterior papillary muscle and this one over here you call it as the posterior papillary muscle now between the anterior and the posterior papillary muscle here you have got these strings which are attached in this way right so these strings which are attached like this these strings are called as what these strings are called as corda tendinae what are these strings called these strings over here are called as corda tendinae these strings are called as corda tendinae and obviously this opening is called as infundibulum infundibulum and this part over here which you have is called as the pulmonary valve pulmonary valve okay so what are the things we have discussed here guys we discussed that there are three cusps that is why right side we it is tricuspid left side it is bicuspid so what are those three cusps one we have is our anterior cusp and the other one we have is our posterior cusp and third important cusp which we have here is the septal cusp so this one over here is called as your septal cusp 
okay and after that you have got this corda tendine you have got this right ventricle right atrium and obviously this opening is called as infundibulum so if you look at the passage of the blood right so blood flows in this way from the right atrium into the right ventricle and then up into the pulmonary artery right from there it goes into the lungs right so these are all the important things which you need to know regarding the right ventricle so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye